If you are planning a trip to Europe, then Paris will be one of the topmost destinations in your itinerary. And if you are going to Paris, especially with kids, then Disneyland Paris is a must visit place for you. So in this episode, I'll explain you everything you should know about Disneyland Paris. Hey guys, I'm Nishant and I welcome you to Veg Trollo. We are covering our Europe series and this is episode number 11. So now that we have obtained our Shenzhen visa, it's time we start planning the further process. And the first thing which you have to do is to book your Disneyland Paris tickets. Why am I saying that you should book it right away as the first thing after you get your visa? Well, the answer is very simple because Disneyland is the top most tourist destination in Paris. It will have lots of crowd visiting it every single day. The demand for tickets are high. As a result, the pricing is dynamic. It changes depending on the season, depending on the day of the week, depending on the tourist inflow and other factors and there is various price range available. So it's always a good idea to book the tickets as early as possible to take benefit of low price. The second reason is that the tickets are fully cancelable up to maybe around one week before the actual date of your pass. So in case you plan to change, you can cancel it and get full refund. So that gives you peace of mind and hence you should book your Disneyland Paris tickets as soon as possible. Basic information about Disneyland Paris. If you are traveling from the Paris city then you have to take Aria train and you have to get down at a station called Manila Valley Chassis. I am not sure that I am pronouncing it correctly but I am pasting the right name here. You can read it yourself. So you get on at this particular station and you are into Disneyland Paris. Uh, the park timings are 9.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekends and 9.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. on weekdays. So on weekends you get one extra hour but then again weekends are very crowded so it will almost be the same for you. Now Disneyland has mainly two parks. First is the Disney park and second is the Disney studio. What's the difference between two? The difference is in terms of the attractions and the rides and the characters. Disneyland Park is uh, basically having all the cartoon characters. So if you are interested in Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Winnie the Pooh, Alice in Wonderland, Aladdin or Star Wars or uh, Pirates of the Caribbean or Indiana Jones, all those characters and rights related to such characters, then Disneyland Park is. Disneyland Studio on the other hand is more related to characters from its movies. So the main being Avengers series. So if you are a Captain America fan, if you are an Iron Man fan, a Thor fan, Hulk fan, then Studios is something for you. Similarly, if you are a fan of Frozen series, Disneyland Palace is creating a separate section for Frozen series, creating a separate Arendelle for Frozen series. But unfortunately, it's not yet open. So for now, you'll have to go to Disneyland Studio for meeting the characters related to Frozen series. Same is the case with Toy Story series. If you are a fan of Lightyear or uh, Woody, then uh, Disneyland Studio is the park. So depending on your interest areas, you can decide whether you want to visit Disneyland Park or Disneyland Studio or whether you want to visit both the parks. My recommendation is that it's always a good idea to visit both the parks because more often than not, you will have common interest in both the parks and that's how they even plan it so that People visit both the parks and they get maximum money. How do you decide which park to visit? Well, the process is very simple. At least what I did was I downloaded the official app from Play Store. The app has details of all the rides which are available, all the characters which are available and other things. I went through the description of those, the average waiting time, who is the ride suitable for, whether it's suitable for children, adults, teenagers, entire family. And uh, basically that I uh, added few rides to my wish list. Once I had done those things, I went to the characters. Again, I added few to wish list. I added the shows to wish list. And then I went to the map to see which of my wish list items are where. It was more of a 50-50 split. But yes, this is the process which you can use. Now coming to tickets part, uh, you have multiple options available. First is obviously one park or two park wherein you can choose either Disneyland Park or Disneyland Studio or both the parks. The second is dated ticket versus undated ticket. If you are going with dated ticket, then the price will be a bit low but you have a date as a fixed date and you have to go to the park on that day itself. You cannot go on any other day. If you are taking 
undated ticket then you have the flexibility to decide as per your uh, schedule but again uh, the price is a bit high and uh, i think uh, before 24 hours or before few days of your actual visit you have to register it on the disney website uh, the third option uh, which you'll have to decide is whether you want to take one day pass two day pass three day pass or four day pass so again depending on the number of days pass the price varies uh, one day pass will be a bit costly two day pass will have per day cost as a bit low uh, three day pass will obviously have lesser per day cost and so on and so forth then you also have another option where you will book the hotel plus park tickets as a combo so in this particular case disney hotels which are in the park area itself you can book the stay there and it will automatically also give you the park tickets the benefit of this is that uh, you get extra one hour for visiting the attractions the park opens one hour earlier for the hotel guests so they can visit all the attractions and they can uh, go to the rides and uh, do the rides before the park opens for general tourists and before the rush starts coming the disadvantage is that uh, these are slightly costly so if you are someone who is price conscious then you might uh, prefer staying outside the Disney park area now coming to how should you book the tickets well uh, there are three options to book the ticket the first option is booking at the counter which is the worst possible option because first of all it will be at the maximum price which means you'll not get discounts and secondly you are not sure whether you will get the tickets or not because sometimes it might be sold out due to heavy rush the second option is through official website or app so you can download the app or you can visit the website and from there you can book the tickets the advantage of this is that you will be able to select your combinations with respect to one park two park uh, dated and dated one day two day three day and uh, see the price range uh, there are four price ranges and you can then decide which date you want to travel and what's the appropriate price range for you and you can book the tickets disadvantage of booking through official app or website is that you have to make the payment in usd or euro so that means if you are making the payment from overseas then you will also have to bear the brand of foreign currency conversion charges uh, the third option which is available and which i did was to book through partners so there are few partners available who uh, sell disneyland paris tickets the top among them are make my trip and Klug. so you can book either through Klug or through make my trip i did it through make my trip uh, the advantage is that uh, these are repeated websites so you do not have any uh, second guesses whether you will get the tickets or not and you are paying in your local currency so for me i made the payment in inr and also got some discount through make my trip so it was a win-win situation for me and finally few things which you should remember before booking the tickets to disneyland paris well uh, i'll say that if you're coming to disneyland paris with kids then try to keep at least two days in one day it will be very difficult for you to cover disneyland paris and if you're doing only for one day then my recommendation will be to cover only one park either disneyland park or disneyland studio some people do cover both the parks on single day but then again it it will be very hectic and not everyone might be able to do that so either you keep two days or you visit only one park on one day uh, the second tip which i like to give you is that uh, do keep in mind uh, that there will be lots of rush lots of crowd and there will be lots of waiting time for popular rides so in fact i was checking the app and there are rides wherein the waiting time can be between 30 minutes to one hour also so what that means is you will wait in the line for one hour then you will go to the right and you will spend maybe another 10-15 minutes you will come out of the right and then you will go walk to the next ride that means one and a half to two hours between each ride is what you're looking at and that means you will not be able to do more than seven eight rides in the entire day and hence as i said earlier one day might not be sufficient you might need at least two days the third tip which i'll say is that try to have an accommodation nearby to Disneyland Paris. I'll not say that you should go for the combo package and buy park plus hotels inside which are costly. But what I'll suggest is buy nearby. You have chassis area, you have Monteverain area, you have few other areas uh, where you will be able to find stay through Airbnb or Booking.com. 
at a much more cheaper price and uh, from there the path might be walkable or there might be bus which might take 5-10 minutes uh, to drop you at Disneyland Paris. So try to prefer that because staying nearby will always be comfortable for you. Uh, you can reach early and at the same time in the night after 10 pm you can reach back home early and take some rest. And the last tip which I'll give you is that uh, there are lots of add-ons which are available uh, for you to choose from. So think wisely and then decide. Priority pass might be a good add-on if you want to make the maximum utilization of your time if you're visiting only for one day and if you're shortlisting the rights which are high in demand. So what I'll suggest is you go to the app, you try to identify the waiting times and see which rights you want to do. And basically that if you feel that the rights are mainly those which have high waiting time you can buy the priority access in which you can skip the queue similarly you can pre-book the restaurant uh, just know that inside everything will be at a very costly thing but you do not have any other option because you cannot come out and have anything outside so you'll have to have your meals inside and you it's better you pre-book but again the disadvantage is that you will get limited slot for the table booking and if you're not there it might go so think about it and then book that's it guys i think i have covered almost all the topics which i know uh, or at least what i researched about before doing my disneyland paris booking i hope you found them useful if yes please remember to like subscribe and share the content with your friends youtube algorithm works only if you share it with others only then will it promote my video and that will help as usual if you have any content related to disneyland paris or any of our previous videos so far you can feel free to ask them in the comment section i'll try my best to answer them until next time this is nishan signing off bye take care